like one of those days where you just want to have a fireplace, you want to have your hot chocolate by your side, and without a crying baby, right Christopher? <laughs> just kidding. I'm drinking out of this cool mug that one of my good friends got me. It says, I'm not a regular mom. I'm a cool mom. Is that right? Am I a cool mom? <coughs> Welcome back to Mommy Duties! Today we're back to another weekly favorites, but first let's do word of the day. Today we're going to learn how to say the word grandpa in Spanish and in sign language. In Spanish you say abuelo. And in sign language you're going to take your thumb and point it to your forehead and make two arcs. White! White! <laughs> Alright, without further ado, let's get into our favorites. Our first favorite is this Color Wonder set that I got for him on his birthday and the reason I got it is because I wanted his creativity to develop and I want him to set his mind free and I think this is the best way for a one-year-old. But of course with supervision. The markers that I bought came 10 in a set with all the basic colors. When you open the lid, all of them have this clear tip which is pretty weird and I thought okay this is not going to work but it's meant so that it won't stain his skin, his clothes, my carpet which is the best part, no mess and I'm on the clear with these markers. The markers will only work on the Color Wonder drawing pages but look how magically it appears on it. They are really pigmented and they are true to their color. As you can see here, Christopher is playing with the tip of the marker, but there is no stain on his fingers and he seems kind of confused about it. He's like, what is going on here? And if he ever plans on drawing on the walls, it will never happen with these markers. Finger painting is also a good way to develop creativity. This one comes with five different colors. When you open it up, it's going to be a clear gel for all the colors. And since it's so viscous, it won't spill anywhere, that way we can travel with it. Now the colors aren't as pigmented as the markers, but it still does the job. It does leave his fingers a little bit sticky, so I definitely wash his hands afterwards. I'm so glad I got this set because he has so much fun with it and it just makes me so happy to see him enjoy it. Our next favorite is brushing our teeth, which may sound kind of silly, but I can't stress enough how important it is to develop this good habit early on. We use a fluoride anti-cavity toothpaste which has a fruity flavor which he loves but when he was first starting out brushing his teeth he used the Aura Gel which is labeled for the beginning stages of brushing. As for the toothbrushes I try to get the colorful fun looking ones that way he gravitates towards it and is something that is fun to do every morning and night. And just a little bit of toothpaste can go a long way. And our last favorite is this multi-bin toy organizer that I recently ordered on Amazon. His toy collection was starting to build up and I was tripping over them, so I just decided to order this to save me any future injuries. It comes with few and basic equipments like these two sturdy frames, four pieces of wood to keep the bins up. It even comes with its own screw so you don't have to worry about having your own. Six bins for large, medium to small toys. I tried putting this together myself, but my husband had to come in and help me. I know, kind of sad. Here, Christopher is using the organizer for stability, but it shows how sturdy it is. It's not wobbly at all. 
In the large bin, I put all his oversized teddy bears and stuffed animals. And the smaller bins are easy to pull out, but won't easily fall out. Thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Bye!